Hey, it's Pastor Doug, and I'm here to tell you another story. I hope that you are ready to enjoy it. Well, take that off too. Hello, it's Pastor Doug, and I'm here to tell you another story this week. But I'm going to move away from Jack just a little bit and tell you a story that I enjoy. It's one about Br'er Possum. There's a whole series of tales about uh, from Uncle Remus that has to do with Br'er Rabbit. Uh, and I've always enjoyed those stories. Uh, they've always taught me a lot of good lessons. And there's one that I enjoy telling called Br'er Possum, uh, which you may or may not have heard, uh, at least not in a long time. Well, it just so happened that Br'er Possum was a getting old. Now, you know what happens when people get old, why they get a little bent over and they just start where they can't get to going very fast. They're just slow. And he'd gotten so old and so slow, why he just couldn't get the food that he loved to eat most of all. And the food that he loved to eat most of all was frogs. Why he used to go up to the frog pond and he'd catch them frogs and he'd take them home and his wife would cook them all up and they would have the best time and they would enjoy them so much. However, when you're old and you're slow, you just can't do those things anymore. And so Br'er Possum would get his frog sack and he'd get his frog stick and he'd make his way up to the frog pond and he'd sit on an old log and he'd look out at all those frogs and they would look at him. They'd hop up on their little lily pads and they'd say, Nanny, nanny, boo, boo, you can't get us. Oop. They'd go back down in the water, or they'd hop up again, and they'd go, nanny, nanny, boo, boo, you can't get us. They loved uh, Br'er Possum had gotten old and slow. Why, they was a flourishing, and there were frogs all over the place. The other part about getting old and slow is that, well, someone else might get you. And so Br'er Possum was always a little afraid that, that somebody might come up who wanted to eat a possum, and, and he was always a little nervous. So anytime he heard a crack in the woods or a rustle of the winds, he'd jump down and he'd get down and he'd hide and he'd do everything he could. And one time when he was listening to the frog singing Nanny Nanny Boo Boo, why there came a noise in the wood, a crack and a crunch and a coming out. He got down by that log and he held and he just tried to hide and he was just afraid everything was going to be happening to him. And all of a sudden out came Br'er Rabbit. Why Br'er Rabbit looked down at him and said, why, Br'er Possum, why is you down there? What are you doing there with that? Oh, don't you know it's a beautiful day? Well, you should get up. You ought to be moving around and going around. What a wonderful day it is. I said, oh, it might be a wonderful day for you, Br'er Rabbit, but not for me. I'm old and I'm slow and I can't eat any of those frogs no more. Every day I go back home and I stop by the trash heap and I fill my frog sack full of trash and boy, poor Mrs. Possum, she does her best, let me tell you, but you can only eat trash so many days in a row. Why, she's got trash tetrazzini and trash tacos and trash enchiladas. We have trash loaf and uh, trash cakes, but it all sort of tastes the same same and it's just not that good oh Br'er Rabbit said well let me think about that hmm why well, I know what you could do Br'er Rabbit was always having great ideas he says now tomorrow this is what you do now tomorrow morning you get your Br'er trash sack you get it all cleaned out so it's going to be a frog sack again yes sir it is and this is what we're going to do we're going to and he's just whispered to him a secret. And when he got up, Br'er Possum was a ready and raring to go. Why, he went home that night and they had a great feast. Why, Mrs. Possum cooked up that trash like she'd never cooked it before. They just loved it down, knowing it was their last trash of a meal. And the next...
next morning, why, Br'er Possum got up early. He got up, he washed out his trash sack, he cleaned off his frog stick, and he made his way up to the frog pond. He was just going along and singing a song to himself, and he was having a lovely day. And as he got closer, he started not being feeling too good, as sometimes you do when you get older. And he was sort of running out of energy by the time he got all the way up there. All that excitement had got his heart running a little too fast, I think. And he just started going further. And by the time he got up there to that frog pond, he just got up there and he just sat down on that frog log. And sure enough, those frogs come out. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo, he can't get us. Well, Br'er Possum had had it at that. He jumped up and he tried and he staggered over the water and he bumped in and he came back out and he ran over here and he went all over the place. But, oh, Br'er Possum couldn't catch one. Them frogs were hopping this way and that way and they was going all over the place and, and they was trying to get away and he was just trying and working and he was throwing a fit and he was getting angry and mad and then all of a sudden he started to stop and, and he goes, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh. And Br'er Possum just fell right there on the sand next to the pond. And all the frogs got real quiet and still. They didn't know what to do. Why, some of them got up there on the, the sand and they just throwed some at him and he didn't move. So Mark got over there and touched him with his leg and tried to kick him with their flippers, but he didn't move at all. Some of them gave him a little nudge. Why, he didn't do anything. And they knew what had happened. Poor Br'er Possum must have had a heart attack and died. And those frogs have started celebrating. They started singing, Nanny, nanny, boo, boo, he'll never get us. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo, he'll never get us. They was a singing and a dancing and having a great time when there came a tromping up through the woods. Crackle, crackle, and that got them all quiet. No telling who's coming up. And out came Br'er Rabbit. He was ready to meet Br'er Possum. He got up there and he started looking around when he saw Br'er Possum, his heart was broken. Oh, no, 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 Br'er Possum, get up. Oh, he couldn't wake him up. He shook him real hard. No, not on this day. This was the day that was going to turn everything around. Oh, Br'er Possum. Oh, oh, no, my best friend in the whole wide world is dead. <laughs> Oh, 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 Br'er Rabbit just sat down himself and sobbed and cried. And those frogs just were a look and all wide-eyed, trying to figure out what was a-going on. And then they started singing, Nanny, nanny, boo, boo, he'll never get us. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo, he'll never get us. And that's when old poor Br'er Possum just raised right up and they moved him around and he was just there. He couldn't try to. Br'er Rabbit knew he had to do something. Said, well, maybe I, I had to drag him, but he couldn't get him, couldn't move before Br'er Rabbit anywhere. He's just a little old rabbit. And then he finally looked out and says, oh, you frogs ought to be ashamed of yourself singing Nanny Nanny Boo Boo, poor Br'er Possum right here, dead as he could be. Well, I, the least you could do is help me bury him. And the frogs thought about it and said, we could do that. We, we could do that. Why, they started coming up, and they started digging out dirt around him, and Br'er Possum went down a little bit, and they said, Oh, that's hard work, Br'er Rabbit. Is, is it deep enough yet? And Br'er Rabbit said, Oh, get out, let me see. And they hopped out, and he said, No, not deep enough yet. So they got back down there around Br'er Possum, and they was throwing dirt out and throwing dirt out and throwing dirt out, and he went down a little bit more, and he was getting awful tired. And they said, Oh, Br'er Rabbit, is it deep enough? up yet he said hop out let me see they all hopped out he says no it's not deep enough yet and he says, they got down there and they dug out more and dug out more and dug out more and Br'er Possum went further and further and further down and then finally he was so far down they was so tired and they just looked all the way up and said hey Br'er Rabbit 
Is it deep enough yet? He says, oh, I don't know. Why don't you hop out and let me see? And they tried to hop out, but they couldn't get out and slid back down. They tried to hop out and they'd slide back down and they'd hop out and they just slid back down. And that's when Br'er Rabbit said, I think it's deep enough yet. What do you think, Br'er Possum? And Br'er Possum's eyes opened up. He looked around all them frogs. He took his frog sack, started putting them all in there, and he just couldn't believe his luck that day. Why, he went home and Mrs. Possum cooked up all kinds of frog legs and frog delicacies, and they had frog fricassee. They were gonna have just one wonderful meal after another and that's how Br'er Possum learned to play possum and he never went hungry again because there was always a new batch of frogs that didn't know how Br'er Possum could play possum. And Br'er Rabbit helped him out every year and they would get them frogs and they would put them up and they just had a wonderful time. Now, I tell you that story because, well, we all know the nature of a possum, right? Well, when possums get scared and possums have something, well, they they pretend to be dead. They play possum, but they're not really dead. That's a part of who they are. And whenever we use all those parts of who we are, we're going to be able to do all the things that we could do. And other stuff, like being too old, just might not get in the way. Or being too young. Or being too tall. Or being any other kind of thing. When we use the gifts and the talents that God has given us, we're able to enjoy the life that he has. Now, I hope that you don't read too much into the story, but I do hope that you go away thinking about, I wonder what talents God has given me and how I can use them as well. And that's the end of that.